Hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Panikos Neofidou. I'm a co-founder and CTO at NetBiz. And in this section, I'm going to show you um, uh, why and how we extended our platform to support remote workers who have transitioned from an office setting to a work from home or a work from anywhere environment. As people moved uh, from a controlled network environment for, um, in the comfort of their office, they moved to an uh, uncontrolled one where, uh, you know, at their home environment, uh, and they still rely on their IT services uh, for support, uh, but those IT teams are basically running blind, uh, trying to understand what the root cause of their, the issues that are facing at home are, uh, mainly on the uh, voice and video applications since now they have no visibility over these networks. They were used to uh, having their users all in the office environment where everything was uh, managed by them, but now in a home environment, they have no control and no visibility over what's going on in the network. Is it the Wi-Fi? Is it the VPN? Is it the ISP? Uh, is it the data center? So it's really hard to pinpoint. So what we did, uh, is uh, we developed uh, two uh, new work from home endpoints, uh, one for Windows and one from Mac OS. And uh, <clears throat> those have uh, pretty similar abilities as the uh, network agents, but we, we have focused some of the features we developed to uh, handle these uh, very special uh, use cases. So it still is able to do end to end uh, network latency, packet loss, jitter, as well as the MOS estimates and the speed test where, so now the uh, IT uh, support engineers can uh, understand uh, uh, what kind of network they are dealing with when they are actually trying to troubleshoot something. They also have the uh, ability to report Wi-Fi metrics uh, do SSID scans and uh, access point connection events. So you can see uh, uh, you, you don't really manage uh, where the, the user's device is going to connect, but you can get insights about uh, how those users are connected to the network. Uh, and that is also done by giving them the interface uh, statuses so they can see on each network interface of the device, uh, what is the driver information, if there is support for VPN, uh, if they are connected or disconnected, and, and so on. So this really gives them a, 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 a full picture of uh, how the network is behaving at each uh, uh, home network. So in this, um, in this section of the demo, uh, I'll show you uh, how we, we reduce issue escalation from uh, uh, towards level two and level three support by empowering uh, help desk uh, teams to navigate through the process of troubleshooting uh, using this workflow diagram. So basically first, uh, the user will report an application issue and then the first, question to see is, are there uh, any target incidents open? So if there are any target incidents open on the application, then uh, that means that the problem is with the application. If the answer is no, then you're going to check, is there an incident or open alerts on the agent itself, on the sensor that uh, on the user's device? If the answer is no, then the problem is not the network. It could be user perception, it could be uh, other things, but it's certainly not the network and it's not the application. Now, if there are alerts uh, open on the agent side, then you start checking, is it uh, wirelessly connected? If yes, again, you check the Wi-Fi metrics if the performance is degraded. Uh, if the Wi-Fi metrics are, are misbehaving, you can either recommend to, to plug in a wire, uh, move, to, move closer to the router, or you escalate to level two, level three. 
Now, if the answer is from both of these, if, if you're not wirelessly connected and the Wi-Fi metrics are not degraded, then you can start digging into the trace route data to understand uh, if there is some uh, hop that has increased round trip time. Um, if again, the answer is yes on the discounted time on specific code, you will uh, you, you able to pinpoint and understand if, if it's the ISP or uh, further parts of the internet. Uh, if the answer is no, then you, you have to escalate to level two, level three for uh, further investigation. So let's look at the one scenario where we discovered uh, with one of our employees uh, that was complaining about uh, intermittent uh, voice uh, and video call issues uh, she was having. So <clears throat> uh, we went on, the, uh, on her agent sensor and we found out that there were actually alerts being triggered on that agent. So uh, we look at the historical data at the time where uh, she was complaining and that the alerts were triggered and we could see that uh, while the performance was pretty uh, normal uh, before the incident, we saw that there was a hard down for about five minutes. And then when the service came back up, it was very choppy, had very bad performance, was above the average in general. Uh, so we kind of went further to investigate further to look into the trace route data as we said before uh, in the workflow. So we noticed that there is a regular um, um, trace route of 11 hops continuously. And in that case, uh, the ISP use was uh, Comcast. After that, there was a, the, the hard uh, down uh, of, the, of the service. And then when it came back, it was showing 24 hops. So we went to those 24 hops to see what's going on. And we noticed that actually the, uh, her packets were getting routed through a different ISP. So we were able to uh, identify that the problem was with the ISP not going through the regular route, but then uh, taking a different route uh, during these outages. So in this case, we were able to escalate to the ISP to uh, to get this uh, problem resolved. So now let's go uh, to the dashboard uh, and view uh, our remote workers tab here. So you can see here we have deployed multiple uh, Mac OS and Windows agents. And uh, within an agent, uh, we have the different tests that are running. Again, it's a very similar view. Um, here we have the status of the networks. You can see the transmit and receive rates, the signal strength of the Wi-Fi. We can see that there is a VPN connected here. And we can see that the, the laptop has a wired interface, but is not connected since it's showing up as red. And then here on the wireless, we see transmission and receive rates, the MCS that is reported on the, through the Mac OS, signal strength, noise, and bit rate, and as well as the, the channel, the SSID and SSID. And here we have the connection events uh, that may happen throughout the day uh, while the user is using their laptops. <clears throat> so I think I have Panos here on the line uh, and he will, uh, we will have a, a brief call to see how his uh, laptop will behave while he's uh, going around the house. Hi Panos. Hi there again. Um, so for the purpose of, to demonstrate the Wi-Fi metrics and how this affect voice, affects voice experience, I'm gonna I have my laptop here tethered on my on my phone. I'm gonna walk away from it, right? Um, and 
not something you shouldn't be doing on live presentations, but if you lose me, it's okay. Panigos will be here, right? Mm -hmm. But the point here is my audio, uh, my start becoming choppy. Uh, signal strength is going down, as you can see. And my video might also start becoming jittery and everything. And I'm working like the other side of the house here. And uh, um, that should be also reflected on the moist, moss jitter and packet loss information we have on the um, other tab, right? Um, and uh, this should be getting worse and worse. And uh, then I should also drop now, I think, because I'm walking out of the house. <laughs> Probably yeah, we can see that. Yep. Now we see that we are losing him almost completely. And you can see here exactly the signal strength drops, uh, bitrate goes way down. And um, we will also probably see a disconnection, a reconnection here. But you can see also from here that the MOS, the MOS score has dropped from uh, a nice 4.3 to a, a, a one which is basically uh, unusable. So now, as you can see, Banos is back uh, and the quality is back, uh, back up of the call. Again. Yep. Thank you, Banos. And uh, moreover, um, in other cases where you have, you may have a, a, your Wi-Fi router on a, a 2.4 gigahertz and, and 5 gigahertz, uh, and then um, and your laptop is switching between the two, you will be able to see those connections and disconnections and, and the difference in the channels. And uh, if that's the case, also it might, it might be seamless uh, from, a, from the laptop's perspective in terms of like switching between the, uh, the, the different bands. But if you are on a call while this is happening, you will notice a, a big degradation of, uh, of your voice quality and video quality. And you will see that in a very similar way as here. So, so would you also yeah. see that when your kids start streaming a movie while you're trying to do a business conference or something? If, if that uh, affects your, uh, your performance, uh, you will certainly see that uh, in your metrics here. If, uh, if your network is congested, yeah, yeah that would uh, affect your voice quality. 